Hey, hey, Tony guys here coming to you live from the bed. Well, not really, I guess, the bed. But I, uh, you know, sometimes it's like you don't feel like working. You don't feel like getting up and doing nothing. And I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I I've been an entrepreneur since I was 27. And it, it it's good. The other part of it is like sometimes it's sad in the sense of you see so many smart and talented people who could be working for themselves or doing something where even if you're not working for yourself, but just doing something where you have more control over your schedule and you see people, you know, punching the clock and that's that's good, too would you get a consistent check unless you get fired or, you know, laid off or something. But just we, we live in a world where we got to do more exploration around our gifts because we're going into a time where we have artificial intelligence. We have a million different social media networks. We have so much going on that we're getting past the point of being complacent with just having one stream of income. Or you can have one job, but still have multiple streams of income. And it's time to get creative. And with the idea that you have break it down into small steps and if you don't know how to do that then talk to someone like myself who does know how to do it who can hold your hand and walk you through the process and have the courage to start what is on your heart because you never know what can happen and if you look around you will notice that everybody who has something or who has created something that they cannot be fired from, they did it one step at a time. I was looking at this young lady who has a clothing line and now she has like a 20,000 foot square, 20,000 square foot warehouse with offices in it and where she does all of her merchandise from. And she started with a basic t-shirt years ago. Just started with a t-shirt. And truthfully, the name of the company is not that well thought out. It's kind of like how black people, a lot of black people name their kids trying to sound fancy so we try to come up with a name that we don't know what it means we really don't know how to spell it and it don't really make a lot of sense based on our history or culture but we just kind of put some words together or some letters together and we want to it's like we want to sound caviar but knowing we are mullet, meaning meaning we we may be on fried catfish, but we still have them lobster, you know, or whatever sea bass, Chilean sea bass dreams, and that's the beauty of dreaming. It's like you you want more, you want to feel special, you want to be special, you want to be different. And we show that. Even if something just as simple as like what I'm talking about, naming your child. A lot of times we'll take that and we want to make that so unique. And that is a testament to what's really in our heart. We don't want to be rats in a maze. We don't want to have to work for somebody else the rest of our life and depend on somebody else to like us to keep giving us a job. So this is the time. I got a client who she's probably in the top 10 
of my students on Tony Gaston's Academy, meaning she probably has taken the most courses. I think as far as like static courses, I think I have over 50 or 60 courses on TonyGastonAcademy.com. She probably has taken the most. If not all of them, she may be missing one to five. But I was talking to her and she <clears throat> she was on a job and the job was kind of toxic. She didn't really like it. And she's a single mom of three. And she quit her job. And and I was scared. I think she had refinanced her house or did something that gave her a little lump sum. And she quit her job and I was scared for her. I didn't know what was going to happen. And then she started cleaning houses. She started cleaning houses, started her own cleaning company. But of course... It's okay. You know, business is slow. You got to find clients. It's hard work. You're breaking your back. But then the next time I talked to her, <laughs> the next time I talked to her, so she won 12 free coaching sessions. I did a giveaway one day. And, be, and I went through my courses, and I was selecting who's enrolled in this course. And then I added another course and another course and another course. And with every course I added to the filter, people was falling off, falling off, falling off, falling off. So I had added about every course that like really means something to me. And I got down to like 10 people. Then I added another course and it dropped to three people. Then I added another course and she was the last person standing. And what I did on that giveaway is I gave her all her money back, which at that time, I think she had spent like 1600 or something like that. It was between $1,200 and $1,800 she had spent on Tony Gaston Academy. I gave her all her money back, and then I gifted her 12 coaching sessions, which would, you know, be the equivalent of like $6,000 in coaching or something like that. If I'm charging 500 an hour. And so that and that that in itself was just something the spirit put on my heart to do. But it represented something in life as well. Which is when we invest in ourselves, it's going to come back. She did not know I was going to run that special, that, that giveaway. I did not know I was going to run it either. I don't know when I'll ever do it again because it wasn't the easiest thing to do. We're not in business. Like, what company do you shop with has come and give you all your money back or give you, give you the opportunity, even sent you an email that's saying, hey, we're looking for our biggest supporter and we're giving all your money back and we letting you shop X amount of dollars, $500 free for a year. So when you serve God, you think of stuff like that and you do stuff like that. And so I did that. And we did those sessions and we got through our sessions. And the next time I talked to her, she had a company. She had a company, this single mom of three. She had a company, a supplement company with a lab formulated pill. Like <clears throat> a natural pill. And I can't remember what it was for. If it was like hair growth or whatever. And she had the website. She had the product. She had the sale. She had reviews. Five star reviews. And I was like, and I just couldn't believe it. I was like, hold on now. How you, how you went and did this? Because essentially she was in my year of business program, which actually is $7,500. And what she did is what I teach my clients. Me and her didn't go through that business specifically. I, I had talked about this and how you get your chemist and how you do different stuff. And she said to me, she said, Tony, I took all your classes. We had our sessions. I just told myself I got to stop thinking about it. I got to stop talking about it. And I got to do it. Now, this young lady is from Louisiana. Louisiana, for black people, is not known to be like a mecca of 
ingenuity and stuff like that. Like we don't we don't see Louisiana like that. Like when we see when we see Louisiana as black people, we think of Lil Boosie, NBA Young Boy, uh, Kevin Gates, the Five O Four Boys. You know, Cash Money. Lil Wayne, them, like, that's, as black people, that's really what we associate with Louisiana, unless you're thinking of, like, you know, the Creole and all that, New Orleans and all that, the, the, the voodoo. It's not a lot of good association with Louisiana. No offense to Louisiana. I know how we is about our city. I live in Florida. I was raised in Florida. I'm not going to get mad if you say you think Florida the craziest state in the, in the country. I ain't going to get mad about that, so... We can't be getting mad by them we don't own anyways. This ain't our land anyway. But it's not a lot of good representation. But then here, it's people there that's doing things that's not getting highlighted. It's just who get all the spotlight from that state. And so I never expected that. And she was teaching herself and learning like, okay, how do I run ads? Like, how do I run Google ads or social media ads? And, you know, she was figuring out ways to market her company. And I was just thoroughly impressed. And she had had some sales and she was making money from it. And I was like, wow. And then I'm going to tell you something else she had did. When the Bali trip was announced, she paid for the trip in full up front. And then she ended up not being able to go because her daughter had a, a big engagement, a big deal that she was working on in her passion. And so she stayed back to support her child. She's she's a single mom of three. She got three daughters. And she's and she doing this alone. And so I say that to say it's like you can do it. You just got to do it. But, and, and what was so impressive to me is that she was investing in herself from her lack. Like, she was investing in herself when she didn't know how she was going to pay her next bill. She was investing in herself. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. I do the same thing. So, I was scared for her when she told me she was leaving her job. I'm like, ooh. This ain't, ooh, this ain't easy, though. This ain't easy. And I tried to give her every little, um, a bit of support and insight that I could give her. But I was scared for her. And it, it was just, my, my family, she was on my heart. So we had spoke. And this was before she started her company. We had spoke. And she was telling me something. Oh, she was telling me something. I think she was turning. Oh, she had one more session left. And instead of the session, I think she wanted to be a part of something, a class or something I had going on. And I was like, man, look at this. This is crazy. Like, she's still trying to find a way to invest in herself. And my family, we took and blessed her family for Christmas. And it just was on my heart. So for some reason, this young lady, and when I say young lady, I mean like, you know, she in her 30s or what have you, maybe 40s, but probably 30s, I think. But she was just going after it. Like she was going out, she was putting herself out there. You know, she's a life coach. She's a mentor. She got some wisdom. She's doing videos and just whatever I told her to do, she did it. She did it, and she saw success. She was like, hey, Tony, I did this video. I got 5,000 views. And to have, like, no stamp, no shout-out. Y'all know if you ever posted a video before, to get over 1,000 views is hard, and that's a lot. So to get over 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and it was happening for her, and I'm like, man, it's crazy. And I know it's ups and downs. You know, I know it's ups and downs. It's, you know, hills and valleys, ups and flows. Good days, bad days. We all have them, even myself. Like, I stretch myself too thin. I, I'm giving money here, giving money there. I'm investing in this, investing in that, like in my business. I just opened a, I'm opening a second office space next month. That's a stretch. It's, that's a bill. 
but I got to take and turn that into something. So when I open that office space in uh, Tampa, Florida, guess what? I'm going to start doing my live trainings out of that space. So you want to be a certified life coach? You want to come do a full day boot camp with me? It's going to be in Tampa, Florida at that office space because I got to turn it into something because I'm betting on myself and I got to pay thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars a year for that space. So I got to do something. And then when other people say, hey, I want to hold a training, hey, this the fee, $100 an hour, $150 an hour. Boom, you can train, do your training. You can do your multi-level marketing training. <laughs> As long as you ain't doing no Satan worshiping, you could do your training. Do your Mary Kay, do your Organo Gold, <laughs> do all your little meetings, do your Bible study, <laughs> do what you want to do out of it. Yeah. Cut me my check. It's, listen, you got to bet on you. You got to bet on you. I, I have a, another client. She took in, she's in the Coaches Helping Coaches Mastermind, and it's a $1,000. My prices be cheap. Other people mastermind is twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand. My masterminds be cheap. It's a thousand dollars for the year, and it's for life coaches. And we have a call every month, and we have a group chat, and we, you know, helping each other. Well, she want to be a life coach, but she also know how to cook. And in our last session, our monthly session, one of the other coaches suggested to her, hey, you want to get your plates out there, you need to give away something for free. Like, go to the barbershop and offer a free plate. And then once they taste it, if it's good, then they may continue to buy from you and then tell everybody else in there. So she did it. She, had, she got a sale, and she had three free orders. I think that she was delivering today. And so that's momentum. And one of the other coaches sold a hundred dollars into her life, into her business. That's what it's about. Like here she is betting on herself. She's a single woman. Her kids are grown. She went through a divorce. So it's almost like being a fish out of water when you've been married for so long. And then you're going out here and you're embarking upon the world by yourself with no familiar support like no kids no spouse and you out here you going at it by yourself and you unsure and you don't know what to do and you just put one foot in front of the other and i gave her the blueprint she followed every single step got her flyers made made a menu passed them out and she take she going through the motions to make it happen and then at the same time building her coaching business to support other women who are going through a divorce or are divorced, maybe struggling with self-love and confidence and bouncing back. And this is what I'm talking about. It's like there is opportunity, but you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid to put one foot in front of the other. You can't be afraid to bet on you, to invest in you, and to make it happen. You can't be afraid. Hey, that's a young lady signed up in my year of coaching. I think she's 25 or 26, 27. And guess what we're doing? We're starting her clothing line. Starting her clothing line. She got the logo. We sourcing the, the, the leggings, the, the sports bras, the tops. I connected her with a designer to help her, you know, perfect the logo. Connected her with the wholesalers to look at through the different products. And we going step at a time. When, when it's ready, when it launches, I'm going to share it with you so you could go support her. So you, and you're not supporting her to support her. You're also supporting her to show yourself like, whoa, this is possible. I'm sitting here with this idea for these jeans, for this T-shirt, for this bonnet, and I'm just sitting on it. When all I got to do is just get started and just get one sale at a time. One Facebook friend at a time, one subscriber at a time, one coworker at a time. Just, just get going. Like the thing about it is, it's, it's kind of like people don't think about this. It's it's like this right here. It's like you going to a job, 
there is something that people in your job need. You walking through your job and everybody got a head full of weave. And you have not thought to say, hey, I love your hair. What kind of hair do you use? Oh, I use such and such. Okay. And you ain't thought to go to Alibaba and buy 10 packs of their hair. And then go to Sally's Beauty Supply or whatever beauty supply in your city and see what they sell it for. And then make you a business card. Put your company name on there. Put the pictures of your, your different packs of hair. After you done asked four different women what type of hair they use, you get the top four packs of hair. You get that hair. Now you go give every woman you see with weave in her hair your business card. And you let them know. Go to Sally's. Send me a picture of what they charge. And I'm going to beat their price. Get with me. Holla at me. Just like that. So now you spending five, five dollars, three dollars a pack, and but the pack is selling in the store for twenty dollars. So if you spend five dollars and, and you make ten, you the double your money. And it's like, yeah, that ain't no whole lot of money. You ain't gonna get rich. But I got a client that did that. <clears throat> While she was looking for half of herself, I got a client that did that. I ghost wrote her book, and. She, in buying the hair for herself, she found a plug. And then she found a better plug and a better plug and a better plug. Next thing you know, she got a whole weave company. And on Black Friday, made $300,000. Her first week in the business, selling the hair out of her trunk to hairstylists. She made $300 from making $300 to making $300,000 on Black Friday. And that was after making $300,000 in a year. I think in her first year of business. And so, and I could be lying. Black Friday could have been sixty dollars or 70000 I could be lying to you. But it was, it was something crazy. And I'm like, Wow. And I know she had it because she paid me to ghostwrite a book and then paid me to ghostwrite another book. That's thousands and thousands of dollars. And then booked me for a speaking engagement that she did in her in her city. And that was thousands. So I know she wasn't lying about her success. And then guess what? I seen the people wearing her hair. I seen her ambassadors. I know they charge a pretty penny because they had a good following to rock her hair and promote her hair. But she bet on herself. She invested in herself. And, and I think she was a mother of four. And she had a husband. But she take care of her husband. Her husband worked for her. And this one I'm trying to tell you. It's like. It's opportunity out there. Like I had a young lady on the growth on the growth club. The growth club. Our next call is Wednesday. And right now we kind of in the money series. When you go to TonyGassonAcademy.com. You'll see the growth club. So you can sign up. We have some good calls, good Q and A. Uh, one young lady, she had canceled her growth club, and then off our last call, because your membership don't expire when you cancel it, it, it you got it until your next payment would have been due. So, after that next call, she reinstated her her growth club, cause she was like, "Whoa, we get into the good stuff now. This is what I need." And so right now we kind of in the money series, and. We had somebody in the in the growth club who, um, what we were talking about in now. What we were talking about in now. I don't forgot what I was saying when I was talking about that weed. I don't forgot what I was saying. I was going somewhere. This is the problem when you ain't got no note cards. But back to all I was saying, the young lady take care of her husband and started from scratch. And this is what we talking about right now in the growth club because I'm seeing these examples of individuals who are starting something 
and it's taking off. You just have to get started. You just got to get started. And, oh, what I was going to say, in the growth club, we had a young lady. We did a Q&A, and she's like, Tony, you know, I'm just, I have a problem with all of the entrepreneur talk and everybody talking about being an entrepreneur. And it's like, everyone has to be an entrepreneur. And, you know, I have a job and I love my job and I'm working in my purpose. And I just don't feel like I have what it takes to be an entrepreneur. And what I was telling her is like, listen, you don't have to be an entrepreneur. You know, you, you don't have to be full time, but you need to start something that you can't be fired from because just like I said, you have a job just over broke. So I said, right now, can you go to Turks and Caicos? Um, no. Okay, then. You don't have financial abundance. If you can't go vacation right now, then you need to be trying to create financial abundance. If you can't go buy the car that you want, if you can't go get the house that you want, then you should not be complacent because whatever your heart desires, you deserve it. And anybody that tells you different is a liar. Even the Bible say that God will give us the desires of our heart. What your heart desires, as long as it's inside of God's will for your life, and it ain't, you know, gluttony and greed, whatever your heart desires, you deserve it. Because you only got one life to live. So why be stuck in an apartment all your life if you want a house? Why be stuck in a townhouse if you want a house? Why buy a house if you want to be able to afford the rent so you can move to different places and see different parts of town, or different cities? Why be stuck in one country if you want to move to another country? Why have to drive this type of car if your dream car is this over here? So if you're not where you want to be and you don't have what you want, then you need to be putting a plan in place and taking action. Because guess what? I was working a job. And I couldn't see nothing else to do but work that job. I couldn't see nothing else to do. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I was making uh, $19,900 a year. That was my last W-2 that I seen. $19,900 a year. And in my first year as an entrepreneur that I counted my income, I made 147000 And the way I made money in that 147000 was speaking engagements. What was that speaking engagement? It was speaking engagements, book sales, one-on-one -on -one coaching, ghost writing, and consulting, like social media consulting. I couldn't even tell how I made $147,000, but guess what? After that $147,000, um, my income, I think the next year went to, if I'm not mistaken, $240,000. And I was at $240,000 maybe a couple years. And then my income went to $480,000. And I just was blown away. And my income continued to go up. And then I crossed a million dollars in income. And then I stayed at a million dollars plus in income. And I was making $20,000 an hour. And now when you look at what I do, when you look at what I do, now I got I do a lot behind the scenes that I don't show online. But when you look at what I do, I don't overly sell. Like right now, I have zero paid advertisements. I don't have no ads that's on YouTube, no ads on Facebook, no ads on Instagram. I don't just overly sell. When you watch my YouTube videos, I'm teaching. It's not a, a big sales pitch. I'm not going through just selling, 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 selling. I sell courses to the students that's in the academy. Hey, here go your discount this week. Here go your discount. Here go this course. Here go this class. So I'm thinking about hosting a class sometime this week or next week. I may host it this Saturday, but I'll have a topic. And for people who can't afford $47 every month for the growth club, I do a little standalone class, $25, a little standalone class, X amount of dollars, whatever it is. 
And then, boom, voila, there you go. You could you could get in that if you can't do the, the monthly group coaching. But that's what I do. So how in the world can you work for yourself and it not really feel like work and your family pick on you and talk bad about you, talking about all you do is watch YouTube and sleep. <laughs> that what my nine-year-old said about me one time. But I'm like, okay, if that's what you see, how in the world is this happening? Because another thing that you do not see, look at my video. Look at my video. Look at the screen. Where do you see my cash out? You don't see it. Where do you see my PayPal? You don't see it. When you watch other people's channel, they cash out right there on the screen. They PayPal right there on the screen. They right there begging you right there. YouTube paying them. But, on, but that still ain't enough for them. On top of YouTube paying them, they say, here go the cash out. Here go the PayPal. Break bread. Break bread. And when they go live, what they tell you? Donate. Here go to donate. Send me something. Hey, y'all donate now. That's what they tell you. I don't do that. I don't do that. The people who send me a blessing, they send me a blessing. They send me, it's not me prompting them to send me no blessing. So how in the world am I feeding my family? Operating from my natural gifts. God gave all us natural gifts. If it ain't a gift, it's a passion. But he gave it to us, so he, he made us self-sustainable. But yet, we don't believe it. We don't, we don't believe it, so we depend on somebody else to cut us a check. And that's all right. It's a season for it. But even, and even that's going to be your whole life. Don't cut your check off. Don't just get comfortable and complacent accepting a check from somebody else. Create your own check. Create your own check and be resourceful. Like, look, see this here little pendant on here? These here lap grown. These here lap grown diamonds. I'm finna start selling these. I'm finna start making custom pendants. I ain't. What your initial sales? $500. Because you know what? The jeweler charge for this here custom piece, they want a minimum of $2,500. i am going to charge you $500. Pass the diamond tester and everything. I'm going to charge you 500 Boom. And we're going to do a sterling silver. See, this right here like gold plated. We're going to do a sterling silver. Now, this is real gold. And, and the little um diamond tennis necklaces, I'm finna start selling those. You know what the jeweler, the jeweler charger? I paid a jeweler 10000 for one of them. Natural diamond. Guess what? The lab grown ain't got it. My wife, my wife got it because I'm sending it to one of my clients. Sent one of my clients. She on a TV show and she blowing up real big. Over three million followers on Instagram. Sent it to her. My wife and sent it. But then you know the little the tennis, the tennis diamond tennis necklaces. I paid a jeweler ten thousand dollars for one of those. My wife wears it. Guess what? Nada got me a plug. I'm finna be selling them things. 500 to 1500 You want you a diamond tennis necklace? I'm finna have it on my Etsy store. You want you a custom pendant? Your child turning 16, you want to get them the tennis necklace and the pendant? Come to me. Hey, what am I charging? $1,000. <sighs> I ain't turning down no business. I ain't turning down no idea. You cannot get comfortable. You cannot get complacent. The pandemic showed us that. A lot of people are comfortable and complacent. Job, goop, gone. Just like that. Just like that. Listen to me. It's time to get your head on straight. And time to go to that next level. Hey, this is Tony Gaston. God bless you. We're going to talk soon.